What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be kind of a weird, well, different video, kind of more chill video because uh, we're gonna kind of do a little bit of PC archeology span and uh, like literally some archeology span because I dug this thing off of a shelf at one of the you know used PC stores that I have around town, well used anything store to be honest. Uh, and as I said in the video where I did like a little bit of PC part hunting, I picked this guy up right here for about 15 bucks. And the only reason I really got it was to rip the power supply out of it because it actually has a uh, 80 plus bronze rated power supply that has a PCI connector or PCIe connector to uh, use an upgraded graphics card, which a lot of the pre-built PCs do not have. So I really just bought it, like I said, just to get the power supply out of it and only paid 15 bucks for this entire thing. But uh, upon just looking at the case again, it actually comes with a lot of stuff in it and I didn't even realize it. So I figured I'd do a video and uh, kind of just show you guys what a workstation, which was probably really expensive back in the day, uh, featured inside of it. And uh, it even has like a little key on here. It had Windows Vista, or Vista on it. So yeah, it's a little bit old and uh, it's got a lot of different stuff in it. So I'm actually kind of excited to rip it open and show it to you guys. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and we'll get right into it. Let's go. URCD key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices on their Microsoft Office 2016 bundle that comes with a Windows 10 license as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in your product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, type in my promo code, once again, RAV20, and see the sweet savings appear. Check the links in the video description to learn more. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this thing. And if you're wondering why I have it sitting like this and you can't really see all of it, it's because this case is pretty massive and heavy. Okay, first thing, let's see if we could even get it open. So it looks like it has like one of these latches right here and we just pull it. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Let's get this thing off of here. All right, so as you can see inside, there is a, a lot of old looking stuff in here. So, uh, We'll try to kind of just dissect this one piece at a time. So starting in the top corner up here, you can see that it has this 80 plus bronze power supply right here that is rated, how many watts is it? I believe it was, it's 456 it says on here. So I can easily accommodate another graphics card and put one in this uh, if I wanted to. And just so you guys know, there the CPU in here actually is supposed to be a Xeon. So uh, that could be kind of cool, you know, potentially. So we'll see how that goes and which Xeon it actually is because I have no idea. Um, but again, this power supply, it has plenty of SATA connections and it also comes with the one thing that I wanted. Where is it? Uh, right here. It comes with a PCIe connector for a discrete graphics card. So that's the reason why I really wanted to just honestly get this power supply and rip it out and put it in a different desktop build I was gonna do. But I may end up actually using this thing and trying to see if it works. Just why not? So anyway, let's move on. Back here, we got like an 80 millimeter fan. And then right here, you see this cooler. I don't even know who makes this. Uh, Foxconn, actually, it's a Foxconn cooler right there. Okay, if you can see right here, it looks like we do have a DVD drive. Doesn't really matter to me because I won't be using that. But uh, so here's something interesting right here. We do still have a hard drive. Now, I was told at this store, these guys normally take the hard drives out and they uh, you know, drill through them so they can't be used anymore, but it looks like they may have uh, left this one in or either that or they did drill through it and uh, it's just left in the case. So we'll have to pull it out and see. Let's press our little button and will our hard drive slide out? Ah, uh, ah, uh, here we go. Yep, here we go. Wow, it looks like this hard drive is still intact, you guys. So there is a Samsung 160 gigabyte drive still in here. Okay, and it's a 7200 RPM, it says. So we're definitely gonna put this back in here and we're gonna try to boot this PC up with this hard drive and see what's on it, because I'm very curious now. But let's go ahead and move on and see what else is in this PC real quick. Um, here we go, so we got more of this, more cables, more cables. Uh, so this right here, it looks like this little connector 
um, goes to something on the power supply so you can actually use is this maybe to use this or I'm not even sure what these connectors are it's P it says P9 on it if one of you guys know what it is leave it in the comments I'm not even sure what this little four pin thing is because uh, I don't you don't really see these anymore so again that's why I'm doing this because this is interesting uh, if you guys find this kind of stuff interesting leave it in the comments below I'm really curious to see if you guys even enjoy this kind of stuff so and if you do I'll do it again let's see got some more cables more cables a bunch of empty SATA cables right here look at these guys you got a lot of them so I'm trying to just get through the cables and see what we got here so okay uh, we got some some RAM here. Let's go ahead and take that out and see what we actually have. I believe it only has four gigs in this case right now, but we'll see. Okay, that thing just popped right out. So what do we got here? So we got some Crucial, uh, and it is four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. So uh, it looks like this does have a graphics card in it. It has a discrete graphics card, and I had no idea. The guy didn't even tell me, so uh, or he didn't even know probably. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out and see what it actually is. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We got ourselves a little little blower graphics card right here. So it looks like GT720. So this actually has an NVIDIA graphics card in it. No way. HDMI port, uh, the old VGA, and a DVI. Okay, so it actually has a discrete graphics card. So guys, we could potentially try to see if this thing can actually play games. Might have to do that. And then what do we have down here? We got ourselves, I believe, let's pull this guy out. I believe this is an internet card. Or one of these, at least one of them looked like it was. Yep, there is our LAN port card right there. So I think one of the, back in the day, I don't think on the IO, actually no, it has a LAN port on the IO. So I don't know why it had this, unless this is just an even better, uh, a better port, or just had an extra port for some kind of uh, system or uh, some kind of connection you know, like that a business needed or something like that. So maybe they just needed another another port to do that for, for data transfer or something like that, maybe. So maybe that's what they needed to use these for. This one, I looked at it in the back and I had no idea what this is. So let's get, pull this guy out real quick. If it wants to come out, there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna break something one of these times. Okay, so it looks like it, uh, from QLogic here, all right. Has some Samsung chips on it. I can see there is an AM2. That that's made by AMD. Okay. Uh, PCI 133. What even is this? What even is this? Uh, Sunnyvale, California. It's made in. Okay. Um, what free fiber channel? What in the heck is this? Uh, look at these connections right here, guys. Uh, some kind of, I have no idea what this is. I don't know if this is a sound card or what. Q Logic. I want to say this could be a set. We're going to have to investigate this further and see what this is. I, I want to say Q Logic. It sounds like it's a, a sound card of some kind. I don't know. But those connections look like it could be some kind of um, wires for, for sound stuff. I have no clue though. So uh, we'll have to figure that out. We'll have to Google that one and figure that out. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it back together real quick and then I'm gonna try to boot it up and see if it actually works. Okay, so I'm trying to turn this thing on and uh, yeah, there's something weird that happens. Never seen this happen to a PC before. So when I plug it in, this happens. First it turns on by itself and now this. Yeah, what is that? I'm gonna have to figure out what that is. All right, I think I figured out what was the problem. Figured out with this certain case or system, whatever, if you have five beeps, like we had five beeps and then a little two second pause, that means there's something wrong with the system memory. And I figured out that on this little thing that I was making fun of earlier, it actually tells you which slots to put the memory in. And since we only have one memory dim, it goes in slot one, and it was in slot four before. See, that was the problem. All right, let's see if we can let's see if we can boot it now, because I'll be really happy if so. Just because now I'm on a I'm on a crusade to make this happen. All right, here we go. Things are turning on, fans are spinning, and if it blinks right now, we're screwed. 
No way. No way it works. We are in the BIOS finally. Okay, so I wanna know what we got here. Uh, let's see what we got. System information. Here we are. This is exactly what we got here. So, uh, yep, we got four gigs of RAM running at, oh my gosh, 1066, that's bad. Okay, uh, system BIOS. So it does have a BIOS, that thing was lying, anyway. So the processor we do have is an Intel Xeon uh, W3503 at 2.4 gigahertz. Wow, uh, I have no idea if that's any good or not. So that's what we actually have here. USB device, here we go. Let's see if this will work. Tell me to boot from USB device. Oh, and there it is. So let's see if this actually installs. So this is Windows 10 installing on a computer, I have to speculate, is from 2004, maybe? Something like that? So let's see if it actually works. It may, it may not work. It may be too slow to install Windows 10 on. I don't know. Day two. Okay guys, so welcome to day two of this. Uh, obviously it's a different day. Uh, so like the other night we were just kind of messing around. I was trying to see if I can get into that hard drive and see if there's anything on it. But unfortunately, looking at the partition, there was nothing on it. So I ended up formatting it, putting Windows 10 on it, and uh, it actually works. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit slow because it's an older hard drive, but it is a 7200 RPM, so it's not that bad. Uh, and then we ended up installing a game on it to see now if we can, uh, this is turned from PC archeology span over to, can we game on a dual core processor with a NVIDIA GT 720? Uh, yeah, so really quick, let's see if it's possible. So I installed Dota 2 on the computer and we're gonna see if we can run it with any kind of playable frame rate. All right, here we are in Dota 2 and uh, yeah, it looks like we are, we're at like medium settings, I think at 1080p and we're getting, it looks like 50, 60, sometimes dropping down into the 40s FPS. So uh, this game, obviously, you can probably run this on a potato, as I've said before. And uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those games that pretty much will run on anything, but uh, it's very surprising to me to still see that this works on a PC like this, because this thing is freaking just absolutely, I, like I literally grabbed it off a, a shelf. I'll show you, this shelf. But anyway, yeah, literally grabbed it off a shelf because I wanted to, uh, uh, rip out the power supply and use it for another build, but now I'm ending up, I'm actually being able to play games on it, install Windows 10 and all that stuff. So pretty, pretty funny. All right, guys, so that's really it. I hope you guys found that a little bit interesting at least. Uh, I know I did. Um, it's kind of a fun thing for me to do. I always end up doing that, especially if I end up bringing a random PC like that home that I didn't even expect I was gonna get from a you know, a used PC store, used whatever junk store. Uh, it's kind of fun to kind of tear it apart and look at it and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy that type of thing as well. And that's why I kind of wanted to bring this video to you. I know it's kind of random, but honestly, it just felt like it'd be kind of cool to do it because I know we're all bored right now. So uh, hey, it was something that I was bored, wanted to do it. So wanted to do that with you guys and let you guys uh, come along for the ride. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you guys go ahead and give the video a like. I really appreciate you guys doing that. And then if you guys like content like this or if you wanna see some more of my other content coming out pretty soon, make sure you guys do get subscribed and turn those notifications on so that way you can be the first to be notified on when my new videos or a new stream that I'm gonna do comes out. And then until the next one, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye.